Hi everyone, this is Kate with the Fisheries and Oceans Canada Stream to Sea program. This video shows you how we bundle up and transport salmon eggs for the Salmonids in the Classroom program. All salmon hatcheries are a little bit different. Here at the Goldstream Hatchery, the salmon eggs are incubating in vertical stacks of several trays. Each tray can hold around 10,000 eggs. These eggs were fertilized in the fall. It's now late January and the eggs have eyed up, meaning we can see the baby salmon inside the egg. The water that flows through the trays comes directly from the river. I use a special scoop to pick up exactly 100 eggs. Each egg fits in one of the little divots in the scoop. It takes a little bit of practice. You'll see me remove any eggs that are dead or inert. Inert means that they were not fertilized. Dead eggs turn white, and you can tell if an egg is inert because you won't see the little eyes of the salmon inside of it. I wrap the eggs up in little cloths and then stack them carefully in a cooler. This year we handed the eggs off to teachers in little compostable containers to maintain physical distancing. You can see that each of these eggs contains a little salmon and you can tell by looking at their eyes. That's the easiest part to see. We pour the eggs into this little egg basket and the eggs don't need to go into the egg basket. We just use it sometimes because it makes it easier to see them and to watch them develop. It can also make it easier to monitor, uh, monitor the eggs and remove any that are dead or inert and that need to come out of the aquarium. So these eggs will hatch in about three weeks and until then, I'll check on them once a day and remove any dead eggs. If I find a dead egg, I'll leave it outside for the birds to eat. That salmon egg is still part of the ecosystem.